Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So today I have a rather large Happy Mail share for you that was sent to me from Lindsay Morgan all the way in the USA. So I'll switch over to my overhead camera and show you what Lindsay sent me. So this is the box that arrived from Lindsay and inside there was this little um, note card and I'm just going to open, I've obviously covered over Lindsay's address for privacy reasons. Um, and I'll just open the box up. There you go. Inside was this card um, from Lindsay. Uh, and I'll read you what it says. She says, Hello Mike, greetings from Nashville, Tennessee. My name is Lindsay and I've obviously sent you a Happy Mail package. Please feel free to read aloud this note, which is why I'm doing. Should you decide to film these goodies for your awesome YouTube channel? I myself am more of a creative journal, memory keeping kind of gal. Yet, I draw much inspiration from your works. At the end of this week, I'm packing up my car and my dog, and I'm heading to the West Coast to begin anew. I pared down my stash. It is my hope that you will find joy in using these bits. Hugs and kisses from Lindsay. Now, as you can see, it's quite a big box, and it's actually quite deep as well. I don't know whether I can just tilt it so you can see um, a little bit of the side. As you can see, it is quite deep there's a lot of stuff in here so I may have to do something which I've never done on a Happy Mail video before which is uh, have to fast forward to go through the contents to show you everything but to start off with before I start opening any bags or anything like that I'm just going to start taking the bags out and just giving you a quick rough look at what's inside so we have tags cord, stickers, there's bits of ephemera, there's 6x6 papers, uh, I can see a little um, mail envelope in there. In this one again we've got lots of different size tags, um, different shapes, different makes, different brands. This package, uh, it's all book text and bits and pieces, as you can see all bound together with twine. It's lovely lovely packaged up. So there's notepads, book text, um, things to write, excuse the noise from my phone, that's an email arriving in. This one, there's some die cuts, some very delicate die cuts. This one, we've got what looks, what feels like wooden um, chips and embellishments. Big M there for ma 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 marmalade. And again, another with chips and embellishments and die, not die cuts, but all wooden chips, different shapes and sizes. As you can see, another bag full of Christmas themed or holiday themed ones. So we've got leaping reindeers, snowflakes and the like. There's a few die cuts in the back of there as well. <coughs> it's another packet with vintage ephemera. A Common Sense Guide to New York, could have done that a few years ago. And what else is that at the back? I'm going to have to open that just to have a look. A Street Directory of Manhattan and the Bronx, New York. Look at that. How cool. <laughs> ah, there you go. A poker manual. Excellent stuff. I'm going to put that back in the bag if I can do it quickly. Yep. Okay, so we've got a bag of napkins and cocktail napkins, serviettes, <laughs> I love him, <laughs> he's cool. There's a, a vintage pack of playing cards, I'm just going to, all got different backs on them look. I'm just going to show you the backs rather than the fronts, look at these. Some cool ones in there. Now I have no idea whether this is um, the proper pack or whether it's actually multiple packs all mixed up. It looks like it's on multiple packs all mixed up look. Because the size in the colours, the size of the numbers are all different. The actual front of the card to different colours. So you can pick that up. One of these are like a bluish cast one, that one's a yellowy. So I think there are different um, unless this is the way that they were made. 
I'm going to go back in there to have a look at this one. Again, all different. I have these lovely oriental themed ones. Medieval, animals. Oh. All different. How cool. I like that one. Some real nice cards in there. American Airlines. Lovely. Canasta. Cool. And again, lovely, lovely little gilt edged box to keep them in. Lovely little storage box. It actually feels velvety as well, which is nice. And another little bag of um, embellishments. There's clove pegs, corners. That look like wingtips for collars. <laughs> <laughs> There's even, I'm going to have to bring this out. There's even an, an, an Enterprise paper clip for all the, uh, the Star Trek fans out there. Look at that. Can you see? How cool. That's <laughs> so unusual. Fabulous. Of course, being a big sci fi fan myself, I appreciate that. Uh, a bag of twine, jute, ribbons, and fabric pieces. There's a big, and it is feels like metal. Yep, metal key. It's definitely metal. Fantastic for mixed media projects. Fluffy trim ribbon. Very good. And all tied up lovely bits of ribbon, some pieces of, oh, don't really want to open it, ah, that's it, oh, Siri's just activated itself, go away, it is some vintage cards, now, I don't know whether these are from like a graphic 45 pack or anything, but Valentine one, vintage Valentine. I've got a CD with all these images on somewhere that I bought from Dover. They're cool, lovely. So I'll see if I can try and get those back together again. I probably won't be able to get them exact. I'll do for now. And then we have another piece of beautiful like braided trim. Now I'm wondering whether or not I can use that in one of my steampunk costumes quite possible. Beautiful quality. Okay, so what else have we got in here? Some netting, like a um, veggie bag, like for onions. Some burlap, throwing bits all over the floor. Some string. Is that Mr. Bentley? Is it coming in? Are you coming in then? Hello, baby. It's a little visitor. Hello, sweetie. Mm, I know. Hello. No, I'm, I'm filming, darling. I can't twinkle your tummy. Eh? <laughs> Good boy. Go on then. Go on, Bentley. Go with daddy then. Sorry about that. And it's off. It's okay. So, and then we have some little metal charms, little glass bottles, little vials, test tubes. They're very, very sweet. Useful for that little Halloween project. And then, as you can see, this would have taken forever to go through every single piece. But again, so we've got illustrations from books. Let me just see if I can, it would have been like an hour long, I think. Look at all these. Cool. Bits from children's books. Oh, Dr. Dot. Oh, no, it's not. It's a colouring one. I thought it was Dr. Dot then. I thought my entertainment for the evening was done. Look at this. Lovely illustrations. Look at that. <laughs> Hamburgers in the sky. Brilliant. Some cool illustrations. 
America on the move. Fantastic. And of course, I've got to have a smell. Just look at that. And that is what he did. I love that. Oh, how cool. <laughs> right, let's get those back in the bag. And then we can move on because there's lots more to go yet. There we go, all nice and safe. Okay, so we have some vintage postcards, the real McCoy. Let's have a look. How do I get in? Have I just opened it on the wrong side? I think I have. There we go. I fail a basic intelligence test, wouldn't I? Right, there we go. So, happy birthday. Look at these. Are they lovely? Quite old. They're all. I'm trying to see if I can see dates. December 26, 1909. <laughs> 1917. 1911. 1912. Wow. Look at that. You still see the gold. 1910. Lovely little note card. 1963 from somebody. Can't see a date on that one. Oh, look at that. Spooner's Delight. <laughs> it's like silver and blue. How oh, cool. March 22nd, but I can't see the date. What a shame. Some cool postcards in there. It's this side that I like though, with the stamps and all the, the writing and the, um, what do they call it? Brain's gone dead. The watermarking, stamping, whatever. Stamps, excellent. And play another playing card. More stamps to add to my collection. Cool. And then we have Cut out probably of text. Let's see if we can just shuffle some of these around. Yep, little ephemera pieces. And then we have, oh, I think the last big bag, right at the very bottom. How Lindsay managed to get all this in one box, I've got no idea. I can't even get my fingers underneath there. Let me see if I can grab it. There we go. So, on another big packet full of papers, by the, look, by the looks of things, excuse me. So we've got maps, all different shapes, sizes, with different patterns and that kind of stuff on. So this, like I said, it's going to take a heck of a long while for me to actually go through this bit by bit. So, Lindsay, thank you so much for thinking about me when you were de-stashing. Uh, and I know how difficult it is to decide what you're going to um, pass on to somebody else on what you want to keep when you're packing up um, to move to pastures new and start a new life. Now, all I can say is, as I say, thank you so much for thinking about me uh, and sending me all this fantastic stuff to add to my stash. And I sincerely hope, I sincerely hope from the bottom of my heart that wherever you move to, you find happiness and I wish you all the best for the future. So Lindsay, thank you very much. So as you can see, it would have taken me a long, long time to go through the contents of every packet that Lindsay had crammed into this large box. So um, I will sit one night and go through it individually, take everything out of the bags and, and then have a proper look at what is actually in there because you never know there may be some real hidden gems in there um if i get, do get chance i will if i find anything 
that I think would be interesting for you to see, then I'll show you again at a later date. But <clears throat> like I said, it would have taken far too long to go through the entire contents of this box that Lindsay sent me. So once again, Lindsay, thank you so much for thinking about me and thank you for sending me all that stuff. So if you did enjoy this Happy Mail video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, share the video with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from me for now. I will see you all again very, very soon. Bye for now.